Hello, Alex here from Practice for Plant Support and in this video we will talk about a functionality called Divi, what it is, how it was used to put your website together and how you can use it in future if you want to make changes yourself. So with your website you have various web pages but what you should find on your web page is various content such as text and images but in addition to those you might also see some other graphics as well so for example this is our test page on our test website and we have here an image banner with a gold yellow background we have the page breadcrumb as well with a black background and then if we just scroll down a bit more we have these grey blurbs here that if you hover over them have an animation of expanding. So all in all you can see a fair amount of content goes to forming the page but how is the page itself put together? And yes this is going back to a functionality called Divi or you can call it the Visual Builder and think of this tool as essentially a page builder so as your website was being developed pages obviously would start out as blank but with the feature builder tool over time content and elements were put together formed and then thus your page content was built so Obviously all your pages were built using this tool so in future if you wish to then make changes yourself such as if you want to change text of a particular paragraph or you want to change an image to something else then as the page itself was built using a Visual Builder tool it makes sense to then use the same tool to do your edits. So if you want to make changes you have to log in first as an admin and then go to the page you wish to make your edits on. So again for this demonstration we are on the test page on our test website but once you are logged in and are on a page like this what you should see at the top of your screen is a black bar with some links you can click on and what should immediately stand out is that there will be a circular button in purple with a D in it and then it should say the words enable visual builder next to it so if we hop over that at the top here it should highlight in purple that is where Divi or the visual builder option exists so click on that if you want to make changes to a particular page and you should see an animation of it loading you just have to give it a moment to kick in. You may find that it loads twice, promise you just be patient with it, but once it loads you will see the page back again, but what you should also see is some coloured boxes get highlighted, so if I scroll down here, if I hover my mouse over particular parts of the page we can see some colored boxes appear so each page would always be kind of like this and we could go through each particular colored box so what we have at a minute is a gray box here and in the visual builder terminology these are called modules modules are things that contain content such as text or images those commonly or frequently elements that you wish to change about a page they live in modules like this and then you can go ahead and edit each one and then if we go out a bit more we should see a larger box in green these are called rows and rows 
contain the module. So you can see all of the text in each module box is surrounded by this green row. And one of the unique things you can do with a row is change the column structure of it. So to show you what I mean, if I just scroll down a little bit more to the blurb section we were talking about earlier, you can see we have four distinct blurbs in a row. One, two, three, four. And as mentioned, these are modules which contain our text. And indeed, in this case, our background of the black. And then these are contained in this particular row box. And you can, and you can kind of see this particular row box is split into four columns. One, two, three, four. And you can change this across your page if you wish to change that particular layout. But again, we will cover this in a different video. Going back up here, we use this example. If we go outwards even more, we can see a big blue box that surrounds your rows and your modules. The blue box is called a section. And they're really important because without the sections, we cannot build inwards. So when our when the website was being put together, all your pages started out as blank. When we first used the visual builder, we would put sections such as this onto the page, and that allowed us to have kind of a holding a holding section, if you will in order for us to put the content in, such as text and your images, buttons, etc, etc. So that was a brief overview of the different kind of boxes that you would see when you enable the Visual Builder. It's just the way the UI works for that functionality. Uh, but we're going to keep this video nice and simple. So generally, this will just cover how you turn it on and how you turn it off. Well, as you can imagine, to turn it off, once you've done your work, if you can look at the top of the screen again, where you first enabled it, it should now say Exit Visual Builder. So click on Exit Visual Builder once you made your changes and are ready to leave. And there we go, we have successfully enabled and then exited the Visual Builder. You should then see your page proper. Any changes you made and therefore saved should be applied on to the page itself. Obviously, in this case, we made no changes, so everything stayed as it was. But this is how you can go about making changes and across each different page the option for the visual builder will always be at the top here always highlighted by the purple circle and indeed if you hover over it there will be a purple highlight so as you can imagine there is a lot you can do with the visual builder and in other guides we will get more granular into this on how you can actually go about editing your page and then some other functionality that may be of interest to you. But for now, thank you very much for listening to the video. If you have any questions, then please get in touch with us. And, but for now, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye now.